What is going on, everybody? Welcome back for our second start at the major league level. Watched yesterday. The first one wasn't uh wasn't any good. It was a disaster of a debut. Only went four innings, gave up six hit or ten hits, six runs. Yeah, it was just bad, bad all the way around. Um. Yeah, I, I don't even know what else to say other than it was really, really bad. It can't be any worse today, you know? So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could look. It was just a nice 13.5 ERA. You know, that's going to let you uh, win a lot of games. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into this today. Wow, McCutcheon leading off. Usually the number three guy. But today I think we're going to concentrate on, you know, taking, taking our time a little bit more on the mound, not rushing the pitches, not trying to go fast back to back to back to back. And that's a good way to start it out. One pitch, McCutcheon. Ops out. I'm going to be looking to see if that guy in the seventh spot so, can stay hot. He's got that batting average over 300 on the season. A milestone. Oh, this guy's ninth in the National the League in batting average. Aggressive at the right times, and he's not taking himself out of at bats by swinging at bad pitches. Into the windup and the pitch. There, you know, just Sends that's another thing we got to do. We got to stay out of the middle of the middle of the plate. The 0-1 pitch. Very weakly on the ground. This was the problem last game where I'd be able to get them to 0 and 2, 1 and 2, and then I just wouldn't be able to put them away. Here it comes on nothing and two. Yep, that one came right back over the middle. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Well, yeah, that's not how. This is a guy that uses the entire field. Starlin Marte. Yeah, you can see that one wasn't anywhere near where I wanted that. Fastball too high to start him out here, one and zero. This Marlin Ball Club, Eric Caros, as they begin play here tonight. Nice They've get that double play ball. Baseball of late, five and three yeah, that one comes up over the plate. That one's going to land out there. <laughs> that one's just going to go. Nope. Bay's not starting off any better than yesterday. So oh man! Shot to left center, home run number five on the year, and that'll give the Pirates a two to nothing lead. Gregory Polanco. You can see all that right stuff is coming right back over, over the plate. He's been much better once he gets out on the road. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Time to take a look I mean, at the You can see the, the difficulty decrease. Well, accuracy is always appreciated with umpires, and Fillmore, he's no exception. He'll miss one here and there, but it's really pretty okay, rare. So there's out number two. I'd be I'd be okay with just that home run being all we gave up this inning. Let's give you a look at the Miami D. It's brought to us by Majestic. I'm not ecstatic about it, but it could be a lot worse. Very oh, look at the diving stop. Okay. Got, got out of that inning. Now we need, need to concentrate on shutting it down. They got me zero runs in the bottom of the first. Let that one come back over. I don't know what's going on with our control. Like, it's just... See, that one, that one was a very hittable pitch. David Freeze. Sixth home run on the season for him, and the lead Jason for the Pirates is Rogers. now three to nothing. Jason Rogers started to go around, but it's a called strike. Oh and one. Oh Hunter man. Right at three ten on the year. 
One home run and eight runs banded in. Looks like it's going to get out of play. Bases are empty here, nobody out. That one just wasn't anywhere near. But he'll hold back here. It's one and two. All right. Now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So as a hitter, okay. you're going to eliminate that. You got him out. No way does he throw it a third time. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there Second as he gets the ground ball Number for the first 61. out. Number 61. Oh, man. Come forward now. Back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. And he starts the number eight here. Concentrate with a here. In one. He'll try to bunt his way out of the way there. Okay. Right there. Got him but out. Throw will beat him at first, so we got next. Pitcher's coming up. Out. We should be able to get out of this inning. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing. Guess that's a plus. We only gave up one run this inning instead of two. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, it, especially when he needs that ground ball. But even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. He went. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up and in I don't time? think I've ever yes, seen indeed. one where they actually said, yeah, he went around. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That's, and that's high for a ball. It's two and two. two, two. We saw this in his last start. He just hasn't been able to find that put away pitch with two strikes at Gotta have it this way. Bases are empty here. Come on. Pitcher for crying out loud. Liner toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Didn't even get the pitcher put out or get out. What the heck's going on here? Andrew McCutcheon will get a second crack at it here. He fly down to lead off the ball game. Yeah, not the result you want in this Absolute frustration here. And the ump giving me the squeeze there. Fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And I think that's been a big part of the problem so far. He just can't locate his fastball, especially in situations where he has to. Chop fouled over towards the oh. Here's the one and I'm one. Starting pitch. to starting to rush. Foul need to need to calm and down a little bit. One and two hole. A little more oomph behind that one. To two oh, balls inside. and two strikes now. Yeah, and he's got to be careful not to give up yet another home run here in this inning. So you can see there we go. they're approaching with caution. He's on out. The second for the force out, and the side is retired. Okay, out of that inning. Two hits and they leave one. I'd like to at least get five innings pitched here. Because I'd also like my team to maybe get me some runs. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Behind on that one, now that behind in the count, 0 and 1. Hittable pitch. Ball mm, that's outside. Fastball just misses. It's 1 and 1. I think I got this one to the edge enough. All right. Yeah. That's on the corner. That'll work. Corner behind now, 1 and 2. Well, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Look out! That one yeah, that's I barely missed the, the yellow there, and that one just simple. took off on me. Message here: Stop leaning out over the plate. Well, pitcher's got to be able to work inside. So yeah, we got him to pop reminder. up. Nice one-two-three inning would be nice here. Here we go. I don't think we're going to get that one, though. I think he's going to be safe. He's a pretty speedy guy. Okay, double play chance here. And I thought that one, that one was going to be another one. They owe two, so as long as we don't put anything over the middle of the plate here. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0 and 2. On its way, the 0 2. There we go. That should be two. There we go. 
relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. It's kind of pitching clutch that I need. Now we just need somebody to, to score here. In now, Mick O'Malley. He'll get to take his first cuts here. A team offensively hasn't done anything. We got one hit. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. And I think he'll keep riding that pitch until these guys prove they can do something with it. Grounded to third. Freeze is there. Throw on yep, first, nothing. two gone. Francisco they Cervantes sure aren't, is ready here as aren't getting it. Francisco Cervelli. Lifted into okay. center field. Ozuna is under it. Nice start to this inning. For the first out of the inning. Third now it's been played. David Freeze. He David went deep in his first Freeze. at bat. We'll we see can he's got in store for continue this here. momentum here. Absolutely crushed it earlier. So let's hey. see if he can get into another one in this at bat. Right there for strike one. Okay, so we're at 0 and 2, but yet again, I mean, we just don't have, don't have that strikeout pitch. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Well, you know, when you're behind an account like this, it's all about changing. If we put a little behind it, there we go. Go sit down. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Jason. That's what we need to do. We need to put some oof behind these. Jason Rogers. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Oh, yep, that's foul. That's foul. On the left field line, and this had home run distance, but it just does. Oh man, did we get lucky on that one? Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Yes, we have a chance here to get out of this inning. And he lays off the pitch two. outside as they draw even at two and two. That one came back over the middle. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Into the windup, here comes the two-two pitch. Okay. We'll count. That one wasn't where I wanted it to be. What? Who cares if we walk this guy? Right back Thought that hit my foot. Okay, so one hit's not that bad. Now Number 61. As long as he doesn't come around to score, we're, we're good here. Here we go. That might be my problem, too, is that we haven't been throwing that change up. That one. Oh, that was just bad. And that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base it, hit. No that shouldn't have came back over the middle of the plate. On now to the bottom. Hey, all right, we made it to the fifth. We'll start out the Still here. not getting any run support. So I'm, I'm relatively sure that they haven't gotten me any runs while I'm on the mound. Let's call on that one. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be there we go. the time being. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. I know it's, I know it's just the pitcher, but it's about the confidence. Now batting number 22. Andrew McCutcheon stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. All right. Now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start enough. to get loose. And a ball, one and Slider up. really took off on me. Swing and he pops him okay, up. so that's going to be the second out. Territory. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Up next for the Pirates, 
Jung Ho Gun will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at bats. Surely hope that they're they said that the, the bullpen's active. Surely hope they're not going to take me out after the fifth way I'm pitching right now. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. You know, the first couple innings didn't really go as planned, but try to throw the fastball by him, but it's high one and two. Okay, there we go. Three up, three down. I feel like we've kind of collected ourselves over the last three innings. We're pitching relatively well. These guys still haven't done anything. A little bouncer. But it's foul strike one. Oh jeez. Oh one count. Here's the pitch. I just I can't can't put the bat on the ball. Now it's strike two. But you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get oh, one, could get them right chasing that one. Game because right now they just chase another one, but I'm not chasing that one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him. You could tell this guy's not built for hitting. And he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the Okay. Yeah, I don't care that Marte went yard on me. Let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. If we can continue this momentum. Hit hard towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Up next for the Pirates. Nice. Gregory Polanco will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Amazing how these last... Three and a third innings have gone. But you can even say back in the second because we just hit that. That solo home run. I don't know. Like putting it all together as a start, it's, it's not that bad of a start. You know, it's just maybe two pitches that were placed that shouldn't have been. easy to lay off that time, two and two. Hit hard on the ground a second. You, know, you put those two Throwing pitches somewhere else, and uh, this could be a different game. Now batting, catcher, Francisco Cervelli. Francisco Cervelli will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate. I mean, as long as we get this guy out. Hit the other way out going to get it. This is going to give us our quality start, so. You know, that's kind of what you just shoot for. You keep. Keep the team in it. Three to nothing. That's you know that's probably going to be it. I don't can't imagine they're going to let me come out for the seventh. David Freeze. Oh, apparently they are. Did not think they were going to. Hey, and they got me some runs. It's three to two. First pitch of the at bat on its way. High in the air after seven. Okay, so we were gonna. Ozuna. One pitch, one out. One pitch, one away. I guess since um, I pitched pretty well over the last past four innings, five innings, whatever you want to call it, going to let me continue here. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Now batting. Well, so far, we we're, we're rewarding that decision. And he's running the risk of a three pitch inning if he makes it out there. Yeah, it's 0 and 2. See if maybe we can't strike this guy out. Something we got to work on. Oh. Down on the fly out, though. So we get through the seventh fairly easily. And the inning is over. And this is really. This really turned this start around. That's probably going to be it. I can't imagine come out for the eighth. Yep. 
So while we go through all this stuff, I want to remind you guys, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe for a daily start. Let's, uh, let's check and see how well we do we did here. We lost. No, we won. We didn't get the win, but we won. So I'll take that. No decision. Line, line's pretty good tonight. So, yeah. E. Gordon, the, uh, the player of the game. So thanks for coming out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, you see Oodles.